Thank you very much. Orange County, how are you tonight? Woo! We're so grateful you're all here with us. And uh, this is uh, me and Bijan's hometown. And we have lots of familiar faces, parents, relatives, high school friends, mentors, gym teachers. They're all here. <laughs> Please, without any further ado, give it up for my best friend on the piano, Mr. Bijan Tagavi. We started this project, thank you. We started this project called Triogram about uh, a year ago, and we made our first record last August, and uh, we released it earlier this year in April. And uh, we are making plans to do our next record actually tomorrow. So you're getting to you're getting to witness the process in the making. This next member of the band, the iteration of this band, needs no introduction. Uh, he is one of the greatest drummers on the planet, and uh, yeah, and. Uh, I actually listened to him about 10 years in college and uh, he blew me away and it's very surreal for me to be on the stage with him and get the chance to play with him. Please give it up for the masterful, the incomparable Mr. Joe LaBarbera on drums. <laughs> He's best known as, uh, uh, well, among many career accolades, he's very well known for being uh, the last drummer in the iconic jazz pianist Bill Evans's trio. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, go ahead, clap. You can clap for that. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, we're just we're having so much fun making music for you all. And um, I'm, we have a lot of great musicians here and a lot of people that I'd love to acknowledge, but uh, we're going to save that for a little later. Um, so that was a medley of two songs by the late, great Ahmad Jamal, another legendary pianist who passed away earlier this year. And the names of those tunes were called Crossfire. That was the first one. And then the second one was called It Always Happens. And, you know, uh, one of my hobbies is, uh, is uh, doom-scrolling jazz videos on YouTube at 3 in the morning. And uh, one, of the, one of my favorite ones that I've seen probably in the hundreds of times is, uh, is this video of the Ahmad Jamal Trio playing in Germany. And uh, the tricky thing about that video is if you watch the video and then you go try to find the songs, they're all mislabeled. The, all, the German concert promoters got the names of the songs all wrong, so I had to sift through hours and hours of footage to fight the right, find the right names for the songs. Finally, I, I, uh, I transcribed them by ear, and we played them for my recital um, a couple years ago. And yeah, so that was called Crossfire, and it always happens. And the last thing I'll say about them is I live in New York City now. I'm originally from Orange County. Uh, I went to school in Boston. I came back to L.A. to work for five years, and then I uh, did grad school in NYC. And I started playing with a drummer named Wayne Henderson, who's a fantastic uh, swing and bebop drummer over there. And, uh, you know, he played with Jack McDuff, George Benson, a whole range of people. And uh, he started calling me to do this concert gig that was probably once a month uh, in, a, in a theater up in New Rochelle. And I learned later that I was sharing the gig among other bass players, but I was one of the bass players. And one of the bass players that was in the rotation was none other than James Kamak, who was the original, vid, uh, the original bass player on those videos that I transcribed. So it's kind of cool how it all comes full circle. And jazz is like this uh, amazing, you know, it's, it's a thing that the deeper you get into it and the more time you spend in the music, it, it keeps expanding and expanding and you become connected to the people you listen to, if you're lucky. So uh, I'm very fortunate to have done that. So we would like to segue into another tune for you tonight that's going to be on our next record also. And this is a tune by the pianist Denny Zeitlin called Hyde Street Run. We were just up in San Francisco and, uh, you know, uh, we invited him to the show because he lives up there. And uh, we... We tried to transcribe this tune. I tried to transcribe the tune, and Bijan sent it to him and said, Mr. Zeitlin, is this correct? And he said, no, no, it's not. <laughs> you missed this change, and you missed that, and you missed that. But we fixed it after he sent us the chart, and uh, he couldn't make it to the show, but we were so happy he responded. And This is a tune called Hyde Street Run.
Thank you very much. Hyde Street Run. Joe LaBarber on the drums. Woo! I really, uh, I really enjoy that tune. You know, if, uh, if anybody's a hip hop fan in the audience or simply just a stoner, uh, they're probably aware of the, <laughs> I'm not really a stoner, but they're probably aware of the, uh, the hip hop producer named Madlib. And Madlib is like one of the most pr uh, prolific DJs producers ever in, in music history. And he has these compilation tapes, um, which are, uh, you know, he, he releases, he picks a genre and a theme and then he, he does about an hour and a half continuous mixtape of little snippets of these very rare grooves. And so that was one of them, uh, Hyde Street Run. And, and I, I really liked that song even before I started playing uh, jazz seriously, you know, even before I was serious about the bass. So uh, we enjoy that one. We're going to now uh, turn it over to a wonderful Jimmy Van Heusen ballad. Yes, called uh, Here's That Rainy Day.
Thank you very much. That was Days of Wine and Roses, Henry Mancini. We would like to now play uh, one of my original tunes uh, that will be on the next record. This is called Angular Descent.
Thank you. Angular Descent by me. You know, I live in New York City, and you know your your uh, your psyche and your mind is uh, are stimulated all the time. And so uh, I kind of wrote that on the subway, inspired by the craziness. So, yes, the craziness we tend to experience there, as residents or visitors. Um, okay, I would like to uh, play another composition of mine. Uh, this is a tune off of our first record, Triogram, released in April this year. There's a long explanation for why I named the song this, but I won't get into it. Uh, this is a tune called Ezra. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. That was a tune by our pianist, Mr. Bijan Tagavi, called Changes. Yeah. We're going to go back in time now um, to the great Earl Father Hines. This is a tune called Rosetta.
Thank you, thank you. That was Rosetta by the great Earl Father Hines. So we want to thank you again all for being here. You've been a fantastic audience. Give yourselves a round of applause, please. Thank you to Campus Jacks, to Tim Ellis, the owner for having us, to Golden at Sound, to all the wonderful staff. And I would like to take this time now to acknowledge uh, several very important people to us. Uh, first, our parents. Please give it up for my dad and stepmom, Lori, in the audience. And my second set of parents, my uh, surrogate parents, uh, Mrs. Donna Kwan and Mr. Robert Kwan in the audience. <laughs> Bijan's mother, Dr. G Gita Sharifi in the audience. No, no, no. And then I would like to now uh, announce several uh, uh, musicians that I adore who are legends that I look up to that uh, graced us with their presence tonight. First, I would like to acknowledge uh, my boss of five years and uh, somebody I play with all the time and I'm looking forward to playing with again this October. The great pianist, Mr. John Mayer is in the audience. John Mayer, the original John Mayer and the best. And his wife, Shari. And of course, uh, my one of my biggest inspirations on the bass, I uh, first heard him on Gene Harris's record, Alley Cats. Uh, what a fantastic record that is. Please give it up. He's on so many records that I love, and he's one of Bichon's mentors too. Uh, the great Luther Hughes is on the audience. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and I would like to also thank you, send a big thank you to Evan Stone for letting us use his drums, and great drummer in the audience. Thank you, Evan. Uh, and two uh, pianists I love here uh, are also here in the audience, uh, Alex Flavel and Celine Yu. Give it up for them, please. <laughs> That's a lot to remember, uh, you know, so uh, I, I hope I got everybody. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, I would also like to announce that we have CDs for sale if you want to uh, buy. I know most of people's cars these days don't have a CD player, but, you know, I still love them because the graphics are so cool. And, uh, you know, they, and they sound great, too. And uh, we have uh, another, I think we have time for two more songs this evening. We have uh, uh, first a piece by our pianist, Bijan Tagavi, which I will let him introduce. You know, the story is kind of embarrassing for you, so I don't know if you want me to tell it to the audience. <laughs> Anyway, this is a tune called Goodbye Forever. Um, it, you know, Will explores around with a... No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's sort of about both of our lives. You know, we deal with certain people that um, give us a lot of difficulties. And uh, <laughs> he received a text from a person that, was, that said goodbye forever. I thought it was such a ridiculous text that I decided to write a tune about it. But uh, simultaneously, <laughs> simultaneously, I was also dealing with some similar issues, and I figured that's a good um, description for that uh, family as well. Um, I won't go into the details about who I have to deal with, but anyway, this is entitled Goodbye Forever. Let <laughs> me just put it this way. I used to work with somebody very often, <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> I no longer work with that person anymore. So this tune is entitled Goodbye Forever. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. That was Goodbye Forever. But we have one more song, so it's not Goodbye Forever. Um, you know, they say uh, don't date a writer because you could end up as one of the characters, one of the bad characters in their books. So that's another reason not to date a musician is you could end up as a song subject. It's way more likely that people will find a song subject, you know. Um, okay, now we're going to go to the positive side. Of, uh, of songs, and I would like to conclude this show with an original composition of mine called Coisinha Linda. So bossa nova is a Brazilian style, and you know they speak uh, Portuguese in Brazil, so in Portuguese, Coisinha Linda means beautiful little thing. So here we go.
Thank you so much. Bishan Tagavi on the piano. The great, the masterful, the incomparable Joe LaBarber on the drums. Yours truly, Will Lyle on the bass. This has been Triogram. We have CDs for sale. Terrence, thank you so much. Take it away. Will Lyle, folks. Will Lyle. And we've got the CD for sale right here if you're interested. Bijan over here on the piano. Joe LaBarb, my friend, Joe LaBarbera. Will Lyle, let's hear it for you guys one more time. Like I, like I said, the Triogram CD is for sale right over there. I want to remind you of coming on the 3rd, Thursday, the August 3rd, John Pru Trio, and then on the 10th, the new Jet Set Quintet with Matt Johnson. Have a great day. Take care of your servers. Drive safe.